22nd year, the Spanish Super Cup signals the start to a new La Liga season. And for only the third time since 1982, no sign of Real Madrid or Barcelona in this prestige game. Valencia last won this trophy in 1999, Zaragoza have never won it, but were runners-up to Real in 2001. The coach, Victor Munoz, is missing only goalkeeper Cesar Lañez, who's recovering from knee surgery. Otherwise, he picks from a first-choice 11, including new striking signings, Jose Maria Movia and Javi Moreno. He's hoping they will bring plenty of goals in La Liga in the coming months. Claudio Ranieri picks just one of his six summer signings, Marco Di Vaia, who leads the attack. He's joined from Juventus, managed just seven minutes of football as Italy crashed out of Euro 2004. The star of the Spanish team at the tournament, Vincenzi, plays on the left-hand side of midfield. The match official is Rodrigo Santiago, and the crowd just about set as Zaragoza get the first leg of the Spanish Super Cup 2004 underway. Claudio Ranieri with a rather impressive club tie, cutting his tonnes with Chelsea in the summer months. Movia, one of the new boys, tossed in dangerously there towards Moreno. Galetti, and Galetti really mistimed his kick, it's all the way through to Santiago Canizares. Canizares, the Spanish international. Bernie free on the left, but ball dispatched forward towards Anjulo, who has drawn the foul. So free kick here to Valencia, and they've given the ball away cheaply there to Cuatero, and then won it back, Vicente. Carboni with the throw. And Hulo trying to flick it on to Marco Di Vaia, clever back, flicked by Di Vaia, Vicente, offside. That wouldn't have counted. Vicente had an outstanding tournament in Portugal. You see just a slight offside against Vicente. Movia. Galetti. I do believe he was trying to catch... Canizar is off his line and embarrassed the Spanish goalkeeper. Remember, Valencia won the La Liga title last season, five points ahead of Barcelona. As well as this Spanish Super Cup, Valencia have the European Super Cup to look forward to when they'll play Porto. Goalkeeper had to be aware of the danger there, Luis Garcia. Former Numancia goalkeeper. Five here is Luis Alvaro, the Brazilian. Cotero. Movia. Moreno was the target. Canizal is not too happy about the defence in front of him. David Villa had the shot. Rebounded nicely to Villa here. Just took the merest of deflections off Pellegrino. Corner kick now to Zaragoza. It was a good block in the end. And actually just got the ball away at the last possible moment to Movia. To Leda. Savio calling for it. Movia. Galetti, they're all queuing up here, it should be Canizares' ball, came off Pellegrino's head and a wild, wild strike by Savio. Once again, Galetti involved at the heart of this move. Slight misunderstanding between goalkeeper and defender to set up the chance here for Savio, which he blazed wide. Goalkeeper had committed himself there and was almost embarrassed. Toledo with that rather wayward header. Valencia had the free kick after that foul on Anjulo. Now 
the free kick goes away of Zaragoza. Xavier limping slightly. Last April, Valencia won by one goal to nil here in the league. And they certainly settled for that again here in this Super Cup game. Zaragoza just shading it in terms of possession, though. Powerful header there by Alvaro. Movia. Header by Torres. Savio. I think Canizares had that post covered. Certainly Savio beginning to lead the fight here for Zaragoza, former Brazilian international. And there's a dangerous ball played into the penalty area. And Canizares pushes it out for another corner. That short corner routine almost worked there for Real Zaragoza. So another corner kick here for the home side who are pressing for the opening goal. Alvaro had gone forward prominently there, but just couldn't get a header in on goal. A bit of a breather at the back now for Claudio Ranieri's side. Now in his second stint as Valencia boss. Albelda. Marco Di Vaia. And here's Angulo. Oh, desperately close. Vicente. Not as close. And Hula must have thought he'd found the opening goal and a valuable away goal at that for Valencia. Goalkeeper was stranded somewhat. The goal was unattended. And when Vicente blasted it back in, he couldn't beat the goalkeeper. Savio. All the options on the near side here including Galetti, Movia, Albelda just flicked it on, Alvaro returns it back into Valencia territory, Albelda, the Spanish international who featured at Euro 2004, Here he is again, Vicente wanting the ball. Played wide here to Carboni, and there's a half-time whistle. Well, despite dominating midfield, Real Zaragoza have been unable to find the opening goal, and curiously, the closest we've come to the opening goal has come from Anthulo, who saw his shot come back off the crossbar. Half-time score then, Real Zaragoza nil, Valencia nil. Coming up after the... Despite finishing 12 places below Valencia, Real Zaragoza holding the current Spanish champions 0-0 at half-time in this Spanish Super Cup match. Claudio Ranieri's side have rarely got uh, into the last third of the field. But uh, here they come now with their new signing, Marco Di Vaio. Vicente. And Fula waits for the cross, it's uh, slightly overhit, and that's putting it politely. Ruffetti. Movia. Really would be a feather in the cap of the coach of Real Zaragoza, Victor Munoz, if he could land the Spanish Super Cup. They've never managed to win the trophy, the Zaragoza team. Malvado with a rather weak header. And Julo. Rubin Barraja. Free kick to Valencia right on the edge of the box. That foul on Anjulo. Now this could be interesting. Movia is right in the firing line here. Rubin Barraja stands over the ball. Vicente, fantastic strike, 
That's why he's so highly rated right across Europe. And the Spanish international, Spain's outstanding player at Euro 2004, has taken up where he left off in Portugal with a superbly struck free kick. Luis Garcia hardly moved. Such was the accuracy of this free kick. Milito. Canizares with his first real save of the second half. Central defender getting forward. But uh, Valencia won't mind if they have to deal with those sort of shots in the remainder of the game. Milito to Alvaro. Quatera available. Galetti. Quatero. Alvaro. Melito. Movia. Oh, Belda won it fair and square. It's Hanfulo now. Vicente. Hanfulo and Vicente. Terrific move by Valencia. Interrupted by a fine save from Luis Garcia. Terrific combination between Anjulo and Vicente. And Vicente close to his second goal of the match. Ball to Movia, easily intercepted. Vicente. Anjulo. Put Movia. Saragotha have an awful lot of work to do now. Victor Munez knows Bissad really need a goal in this leg to have a realistic hope of claiming the Spanish Super Cup. Here comes Zaragoza again, and Villa waiting in the middle, and he almost converted that cross. David Villa, the former Sporting Gijón striker. Suspiciously offside. And Valencia was certainly appealing. Trying to get on the end of uh, Galetti's cross. Wasn't too far away. Good tackle by Alvaro. Villa. He spotted the keeper off his line. And now both teams have struck the crossbar. That was an audacious effort from David Villa. Canizado's caught out of position. He would have been mighty embarrassed here to be beaten from that sort of range. But beaten, he certainly was. Valencia's <laughs> brief in the last few minutes has been to keep Zaragoza out. And they have more defending to do. Now Belda. And Hulu's underneath this one. He's able to win it back, though. Quatero. Drulic. And the substitute unable to get a clean header on the ball. And I wonder if this is the final opportunity for Zaragoza to claim a home goal. Indeed, as you're watching this slow motion replay, the final whistle has gone. And Ruben Barraja and his teammates are in the box seat after the first leg of the Spanish Super Cup. The second leg at the Mestalla on the 24th of the month. But the final score here is Real Zaragoza 0, Valencia 1.